welcome back and happy Halloween. I'm very excited about today's episode. We're going to be doing a Tabata boot camp. So it's a 30 minute full body strength and cardio routine. We'll be doing Tabata intervals as well as some traditional hit intervals. All you will need today is a squishy pumpkin. If you don't have a squishy pumpkin, you can go ahead and use a ball. This is a Pilates ball, but a playground ball. Even a throw pillow or a stuffed animal would work just as well. I'm just using my little stuffed pumpkin to keep it festive because after all, it is Halloween. If you don't celebrate Halloween, I hope you just enjoy uh, my silly hat and my use of the pumpkin today celebrating fall. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Yes, all you need is your squishy pumpkin, maybe that optional mat for when we get down on the floor, and I'll go ahead and see you in the back. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started with a nice back lunge. Switch inside each time. We're gonna do this twice in our warm up. Perfect, let's hold up the top, let's just march. We're hitting right into our Tabata timing here. We're going for 20 seconds on, pull up by 10 seconds of active recovery. Let's go ahead, bring it on back to that back lunge. Just getting everything nice and warmed up. After our four minute warm up, we're gonna hit a mini interval. That's gonna be two minutes of cardio to start off our work. Hold it up at the top. Let's go ahead and march it out. From here, we're gonna go ahead and take a squat. Regular old fashioned squat, nothing crazy. Let's go ahead and take it on back here. Doing great. We're gonna hold this down at the bottom. We're gonna pulse. That's gonna be your active recovery. Weight is in those heels, guys. Hold it down on this next one. Pulse up an inch, down an inch. Small, slow, controlled. I'm gonna face around to you guys here in a second. We're gonna take a nice wood chop. Perfect, grab those hands together. We're gonna take them over to one side. We're just gonna chop cross body. Notice that my heel is leaving the floor. I'm pivoting all the way to my fingertips down to my toes. Great job guys. From here, we're gonna take a little twist. Hands up by your ears. Let's just go ahead and twist. Take the eyes with you. Doing great, guys. We're gonna go for a jumping jack, nice and slow. Perfect. Let's go ahead, take it out, bring it back in. Take your time here. We're not exploding yet. Just let everything come naturally. Let that heart rate come up. We're gonna take a nice side tap here in just a second. Last one. Let's just go ahead and tap it side to side. I'm gonna turn sideways here, guys. We're gonna take a core burpee. It's gonna be nice and slow. Hands are gonna come up by your ears. Let's go ahead and curve down like you're crunching. Hands come to the floor, walk it out to plank. Bring it back in and let's slowly roll up. Let's go for one more here. All right, on this next one, let's hold it down to the bottom. Hold that plank. Perfect. From here, we're gonna come into some push-ups. Option B on your toes, both knees or one knee. Perfect. Bring it on down. Full range of motion is the most important thing here. We're gonna hold our plank up at the top one more time. We're inside our last minute of warm up. I guess let's hold that plank at the top. Perfect. We're gonna go ahead and curl our toes under. From here, we're gonna go for a plank to a pike, sending those glutes up towards the sky. Perfect, come into your plank. Glutes go up. Bring it back down into plank. We're gonna hold it up in that pike position for our last 10 seconds in the warm up. Then we're hitting that first mini interval, two minutes of pure cardio. Hold it up, hold it up. Great job guys. We're gonna come on up to standing here. All right, let's go ahead, bring ourselves on up to standing. We're gonna go for some high knees to start our first set of our mini intervals. Lean back just a little bit here, nice fast feet, as fast as you wanna go. We're going 30 seconds of our hardest move 
followed by 20 seconds, a little less hard, 10 seconds, nice and easy. We're gonna reverse that in round one, going hard, hard, hard it. Doing great, guys. We're gonna jog in place here in just a second. Jog in place. Bring it down just a little bit, a little jog. Great job. We're gonna wrap this up with some marching. Let that heart rate come down nice and gentle. Let's march. Perfect, great job guys. We're gonna go for a double butt kick here in just a second. Meaning we're gonna do kind of like a little jump. We're gonna hit our glutes with both those feet at the same time. Ready? Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna hop, lower back down. These are explosive, I know. 30 seconds. Land on those toes, think toe ball heel. These are your longest cardio intervals that you'll do all day. We're taking it back to a butt kick around for this. Go butt kicker. A little speed. We're gonna wrap this up with 10 seconds of hamstring curls. Then we're gonna grab our pumpkin or whatever you're using. Perfect hamstring curl. You got it. We're gonna grab that pumpkin, your ball, whatever it is, with both of our hands here. Just a second. All right, guys, let's grab that pumpkin. We're gonna grab it right between both of our hands. Fingertips are pointing up towards the ceiling. We're gonna go for a little squeeze. Exhaling, pressing into that pumpkin. Feeling those pecs activate. Look down at your hands as your ball or your pumpkin doing kind of a steering wheel motion. If it is, just means one side is working a little harder than the other. I want you to slow it down, try to get it as equal pressure as you can. We're back to our regular 30, 20, 10 with our hard, harder, hardest, meaning you only got 10 seconds of hardest work. Let's go ahead and add in a squat here. Glutes come back behind. Come on up, push. Press as you stand. Release on the way down. Doing great, guys. We're gonna hold it down on the bottom for our last 10 seconds. We're gonna double pulse. We're gonna pulse the arms. We're gonna pulse the squat. Let's hold it down, double pulse. You got it, guys. We're gonna stand on up next. We're gonna go for a ball switch, switching that pumpkin overhead from hand to hand. Whew. Go ahead, take your pumpkin into your right hand. Go up overhead. Grab it with the left. My pumpkin's a little big. <sighs> Doing great, guys. We're gonna add in a little side tap here in a second, just taking it side to side like we did in the warm up.
doing great guys. We're gonna add on a little reach here. As we come down, let's reach down. Coming up, reach over high. Reach down to the ground, reach up over high. You're hinging forward to reach down, but you're not collapsing over that leg. Chest stays nice and proud. Great job, guys. We're gonna go for a jump switch here in just a second for our last 10 seconds. Let's go ahead, take it back. Jump switch. Nice fast feet. You got it, guys. Last one. Let's take a squat. Those are coming back behind you. Oh, and here she is, the queen of Halloween herself. I am me. Please don't eat my flowers. monster walk next. Perfect for Halloween. Let's bring it to one side of your exercise area. Bring it nice and low. We're going to walk side to side. I'm going to go for three. You go for how many you have room for. Keep it low. Keep it low. Last 10 seconds. We're going to hold in the center. We're going to finish up with some squat jacks. Meet me in the center. Hold it low. Squat jack. Keep it low. Keep it low. You got it. We're coming down to our plank next. We're going to focus on those abs. Last one here. All right, let's come on down to that plank position wherever that is for you. We're just going to hold our plank nice and steady for 30 seconds. Shoulders are backing down here. We're squeezing those glutes together. Checking that pelvis under just a bit. From here, we're going to go into our plank to pike from the warm up. We'll curl our toes under, bring ourselves up in a full plank, send those glutes to the sky. Doing great, guys. Let's curl those toes under full plank. Glutes come up for pike. Back to plank. Back to pike. Take a second in each. Embrace that shake in your plank. Enjoy that stretch in your pike. We're gonna come into a one-legged pike here in just a second. All right, guys, this time as you go back, take one leg up towards the sky. Come forward, put that foot down, let's switch sides. One. Perfect. Let's go ahead. Roll on her back here. We're going to go for a little leg lower and lift. Feet are up towards the ceiling. Slight bend in those knees if it feels better for your back. Let's lower those legs down just as far as you feel that low back stay on the floor. If it starts to peel up, shorten your range of motion here. Job, guys. We're going to go into some dead bugs next, going opposite arm, opposite leg. Let's bring those arms up in line with those shoulders. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Blow before you go. Get that core activated and ready. We're going to wrap it up with 10 seconds of V-ups. Then we're moving into our max interval, four minutes. Pure cardio. This is a full cardio interval, not those two minutes from before. We're going four. Ready? Hold those toes up. Let's reach. All right, come on up to standing. We're going to go for a jumping jack here. Move those arms, move those feet. Bouncing up and down. From here, we're gonna go for a half raise. Feet will sit down on the floor. Let's lift up onto the balls of those feet, lower back down. This is our true Tabata timing. We're going 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. You got one set down, you got seven to go in this four minute interval. Ready, let's go. Set two, you got it. 
my little ribbons on my hat or hit me in the forehead. <laughs> Doing great guys, slight softness in those leaves, land nice and soft. Hold it down, calf raise. One minute down, three to go. Don't forget to stop, take a water break whenever you need guys. You ready, let's work. Hold those feet flat. Let's calf raise. Great. Whew. I'm getting nice and sweaty. You ready? Let's go ahead. Jump rope. Holding calf raise. 90 seconds left. Give me all you've got, guys. And we're hitting round two. You ready? Let's jump. see it for the rest of the workout, I promise. Let's give it a good send off. Ready? Two more rounds. You got it. Two more. That's just 40 seconds. You get that 10 second break in between. jump rope. You made it guys. After this, we're getting into round two. We're going back to our 30, 20, 10 intervals. Ready? Let's go. We're going to grab that pumpkin next. We're going to put it between our thighs. Calf raise last time. Ooh, are those calves on fire? Mine sure are. <laughs> We're gonna grab that pumpkin. We're gonna put it between our thighs, right above that knee joint. Perfect. Let's go ahead and squat. We're just holding that pumpkin or ball there. Maybe adding on a little pressure to keep those knees parallel, right in line with those ankles. Don't let that ball press them out to the side. Next interval, we're gonna add on a little squeeze. We're gonna squeeze the bottom. I'll tell you when. Let's squeeze at the bottom. Bring it on up. Hold at the bottom. Squeeze those knees together. Bring it up. You got it, guys. We're gonna hold it down on the bottom for next 10 se last 10 seconds, excuse me. And we're just gonna squeeze. Hold, hold, hold. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. You got it, guys. We're gonna grab that pumpkin with our arms next. We're going for a bicep curl. Oh, grab that pumpkin on out. Whew. Maybe reshape it. My pumpkin got a little deformed. Similar to that squeeze that we did before, we're gonna press into that pumpkin, and then we're gonna curl, bring that pumpkin towards our chest. Shoulders are back and down here, perfect. Take it nice and slow, really focus on feeling that bicep squeeze. Great 
job, guys. Let's take those legs out nice and wide. We're gonna add on a sumo squat next. We're turned out from the hips. Toes and knees are going to opposite corners of the room. Ready? Let's squeeze down, release up. We're gonna hold the sumo squat down at the bottom. We're just gonna focus on those arms for our last 10 seconds. Hold it down at the bottom. Squeeze those arms, you got it. We're coming up to standing next. We're gonna go for a little wood chop with that pumpkin. Come on up. Great job, guys. <sighs> Take a second break. Let's go ahead, take that ball off to the side. We're gonna chop over other side. Take that pumpkin to your other side, chop on over. Remember, we're pivoting all the way through the heel. Keeping an eye on that pumpkin the whole time. We're gonna add in our squat next for a true wood chop. Our last exercise with the pumpkin today, you guys. Let's go ahead, squat down, bring it up. Squat down the other side, bring it up. Great, last 10 seconds. We're just gonna add on a little pump. Great, let's hop on this next one. We're gonna tuck this pumpkin off to the side. Last one here. Great, say thanks pumpkin. We appreciate you, you did a lot for us today. We're coming back to that core burpee. Hands come up by your ears, 30 seconds here. Take it nice and slow. Forward flexion down, like you're doing a curl or a little crunch. Bring it out, walk those feet back in. Slowly bring it up. All we're gonna do next is add on a little push up at the bottom. All right guys, next one, let's add on that push up. Option to push up on your knees or your toes. Walk those feet back in, still taking it slow. Last 10 seconds, we're gonna go for our traditional burpee. You're gonna jump up at the top. We're gonna eliminate that push up though. Ready? Traditional burpee, hop those feet out, hop them in, hop at the top. It's only 10 seconds, you can do anything for 10 seconds. We're holding it down at the bottom. Let's hold it here, we're gonna go for a push up. Push up wherever feels comfortable for you. I want you to get that full range of motion, just all the way down to the floor. If you need to come to your knees to do that, Go ahead. <clears throat> Excuse me. Doing great, guys. We're gonna switch it up here in a second. We're gonna go wide traditional push-up to a narrow tricep push-up. That's a wide push-up. Bring it up. Hands coming a little closer. Elbow go back by your hips. Wide. Try that push up. From here, we're going to go for some walking push ups. You're going to start narrow. You're going to walk out to one side. You're going to come back to narrow. We're starting it narrow. Bring those arms out to one side. Push up. Walk back to center. Bring it out to the other side. Push up. Last one here. Perfect, guys. We're going to hold our plank here. Go ahead, take a second to reset, to rest. Let's hold that plank nice and static. Great job, guys. We're gonna go for a nice slow mountain climber next, or as I like to call them, mountain crawlers. Last set of round two. You guys are making 
Great time. Let's bring it up. Mountain crawler. Slowly bring one knee in. Take it out. Last 10 seconds. We're going for those mountain climbers as fast as you can. Climbers, you got it. We're coming up to standing after this. We're hitting our mixed interval. This is your last four minutes of hard work. We got pure cardio. We're gonna start with a speed scanner. Come on up. Doing great, guys. I'm gonna move myself out of the way a little bit here. We're gonna start on one side. Let's go ahead. Cross one leg back. Ready? We're gonna hop over other side. Speed skater. Active recovery for this set. We're gonna go for a little side tap. Doing great, guys. Let's hold it center. Tap those feet side to side. We got one more set of those. So we're moving on to our next exercise. Ready? Let's go for our speed skaters. Let's hold the center side tap. Up next, we're going to work some fast feet. We're going to channel our inner football player. We're going to hold it low, nice wide squat. Perfect. Hold it low. Fast feet. Tap, 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 tap. You got it. We're just going to go for a little walk in place after this. You got to guess fast, fast, fast. Let's walk in place. We got one more set of those. Then we're going back to that speed skater. Bring it low. Fast feet, fast feet. You gotta catch fast, fast, fast. Yes, you can. Let's walk. <sighs> Guys, we got one more minute of speed skaters, which means you have two more minutes of hard work before we cool down and stretch. Let's take it over to one side. Ready? Speed skaters. Starting our last two minutes of hard work. Finish strong, guys. You made it this far. Don't give up on me now. Let's bring it to center. Side tap. One more set of side or speed skaters, excuse me. Let's give them a fond farewell. Send them off right, let's go. Last one. Side tap. Agua gra speed skaters. We got one more minute of fast feet and then you are done with the hard work. Let's go, take it down. Let's go, let's go. Make it all the way across that football field, guys. We're making that touchdown. Go, go. You got it. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Let's walk. Final 10 second break before we hit that last round. You got it. Ready? Take it low. Let's go. Fast, fast, fast. Last 20 seconds of hard work. Give me all you got. We got 10 seconds of walking ahead of us before we cool down. You got it. Let's walk. Oh my gosh, you guys, you did it. Are you ready to cool down? I am ready to cool down. We're gonna start with a leg swing on our right side. We're gonna turn sideways so you guys can see. 
We're just gonna go ahead and swing that leg back and forth. You can grab onto something if you'd like. From here, we're gonna take a nice figure four stretch. We're gonna cross that right ankle over our left knee. We're gonna squat down as far as feels comfortable. Let's cross that angle over our knee, squat down. Oh, nice stretch through that hip and glute. We're gonna go into a march next. Perfect, let's go ahead and march. We're gonna take a nice quad stretch on that right side. We're gonna grab that right ankle with that right hand. Always wanna make sure you let that heart rate come down nice and gently, nice and gradual. Grab that right ankle with that right hand. All right, let's that pelvis forward. Oh, nice stretch, perfect. We're gonna take that leg swing on the left side here in just a second. Let's go ahead, swing that left leg. From here, we're gonna take that figure four one more time. We're gonna cross that left ankle over that right knee. Cross it over, squat down, nice stretch. We're coming back to that march next. Let's go ahead and march. Perfect, we're gonna grab that left ankle with our left hand here. We're gonna get that quad stretch one last time. Give it a grab. Perfect. From here, we're gonna go ahead and do a little side crunch on just the right side. Bring those hands up by your ears. Let's just go ahead and think about taking that right rib cage down towards that right hip. We're gonna take our arms up overhead here in a second. We're gonna grab that right wrist with our left hand. Let's go ahead and do that now. Let's give it a grab. And let's pull opposite side, nice stretch. All right, let's go ahead. Make some nice arm circles with that right arm. We're gonna circle back, just as wide as feels comfortable. We're gonna take a little arm stretch here in a second, just bringing it across the body. Go ahead, bring that right arm across. Give it a grab with that left. We're gonna go ahead and take that side crunch to the left side here in a second. Hands are gonna come up by your ears. Let's go ahead, go there now. Think about rib cage to hip like you're between two panes of glass here. Arms are gonna come up overhead. We're gonna grab that left wrist with our right hand this time. Bring it on up, give it a grab. Ooh, nice stretch over to the side. We're gonna finish up with our arm circles on the left side. All right, let's go ahead and circle that arm nice and wide. Great job, guys. We're gonna take that arm stretch one last time, and then you are free to go on with the rest of your day. You killed it. I'm so proud of you. Happy Halloween if you celebrate. If you don't celebrate, I just hope you have a great October 31st, regardless. Go ahead, take that arm cross body, give it a hug. Oh. And if you liked today's video, of course, please go ahead and leave me a thumbs up. Please like, subscribe, hit that bell. It would mean the world to me. Without you, I would not be here. So thank you so much. I appreciate you. Have a great rest of your week, and I will see you next Sunday.